All right, from Texas Station, we're here for the title matches of today's JVT event. The season opener for the Mojave Conference. Last season opener of the year. Both divisions at once, that was Russ Ovi. He's the top seed in the scratch division, taking on Brendan Thomas. While over here in the handicap division, that's nine-year-old Cole Telford. He's climbed the ladder to this point. That's an open in the first frame, taken on Garrett Thompson, as Utah has invaded Nevada today. Everybody but Russ from Utah. So we'll have at least one winner from that state today. See if we'll make it two. I've been informed it will be two, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Cole has been very impressive climbing up the handicap ladder, beating three people twice his height. <laughs> Everybody's twice his height. Look at him prank that ball out there. Look at this. Oh, Woo! Oh, nice. <laughs> my goodness. Nice, Cole. That's a thumb in cranker, folks, for all you guys that think everybody throws a two handed these days. He's covering every board in the lane there. Good looking chap from Thomas there. Thomas covering 30 boards less than Cole. Of course, he's thrown it five times as fast, too. Garrett has been very impressive all day long today. Qualified first at plus 308. Pretty good shot there. He spared in the first as well. Well, Cole just snuck in at plus 170. Uh, he beat Crystalline Pineda in round one, then beat Brendan Lindsay by three pins in round two, and then Paul Collier by seven pins in round three. Boom. Picture perfect triple to start off for Brendan. Good shot, Brendan. And Garrett's gonna hook it right into the seven. Russ is the one with all the resume in this match, though. He was your TPC runner-up last year and your TOC champion last year. Four-time winner. Lives in South Dakota, but out here bowling for ASU. That ball checks up early on him. and He's got a little something to figure out here. Garrett's best JBT performance by far. He had a couple of our harder shot tournaments last year that got his average down and he crushed it today and say goodbye to that average. We'll fix that overnight. Early on in the, nice shot there. Early on in the season, a lot of bowlers averages will uh, fluctuate all over the place and anybody who made the top five today is going way up tomorrow. And meanwhile, something that Russ doesn't do very often, miss a makeable there. He slides right by that and gives Brendan a huge early lead. Let's see how many boards Cole's gonna cover this time. Right out there again, right back. Oh, man, good shot. He threw a gutter ball earlier in the last match and got it right out to the two board again on the spare ball. No fear at that age. Also, no waiting for the pin spotters at that age. He just goes up there and fires it. Oh! But hooks by it, and Ovia recovers there in the fourth of the strike. Uh, the difference is less than it's been in the previous matches. It's only 46. Garrett's got to win by 47 pins to win this match, and he's already leading by 23 of them through three frames, so... Cole's going to have to get some marks together here. A lot of side rotation makes that ball hook so much. Yeah, there you go. A little Brooklyn with the ball taking out the seven, and I have no clue what took out the nine, but they all fell. Brendan, a much harder and straighter delivery. Get up, get up. Effective right now as he shreds that rack too. Interesting to point out here, it's even on these easier shots, it's not necessary to just stand left and throw right in order to score. As Russ and Brendan probably cover two of the fewest boards in the entire scratch division. Dallas finishing third, another guy who generally plays pretty straight, even though he's covering some boards today. Brendan uses a lot of ball speed to get that ball to get through the middle. For a guy who's only in his second career title match with us, no sign of that. He is perfect through the first five. Garrett, meanwhile, was wide to the right on that one. Himself a cluster. Yeah, we fix it up. It's been a heck of a day here to open up the Mojave season. We've had two 300 games, one by Russ today earlier, and the other by KJ Martinez. Each of them, oh, each of them, that was their first 300 game with us in JBT. And if that wasn't enough, Dante Roy left a bizarre five count to win Powerball today. So we had our second Powerball winner in only 14 days. Randy Spieler has the shortest Powerball reign ever. <laughs> cool 500 bucks for Dante today. So you missed a lot if you weren't here today. Oh. Randy won 1,000. Dante won 500. 
It'll still be worth 300 tomorrow if you have some backup ready to go. Rest qualified first today plus 349, helped by that 300 game. Had a low game of 194, so he was solid all day. So was Brendan at plus 255. He had a high of 279 in game four, and only one game under 200 all day. Another seven pin for Thompson, and another spare for Thompson. Good job, Garrett. He's got to keep filling frames and let Cole make the mistakes. Russ looks like he's got the left lane zoned in now, and he's just got to dial in that right lane. Here's Telford in his fifth. Yeah! Ten in the pit for a double for Telford, and he just comes right back in this match. The little guy turning heads, nine years old. Oh, man. And the door opens up a little bit there as that ball was tight the whole way and doesn't break up the split. Nine years old is our youngest finalist this season, but nowhere near our youngest ever. Oh! Could have had the turkey there instead of ten pin. Five years old is our youngest ever winner, in case you didn't know. Now you do. This is going to be close. Oh, good try. Good try. Watch, watch how Telford has really good form. He's going to flatten this ball out on the spares. Perfect. Right at it. Oh! Give him the spare. Give him the spare. Huh? You call that? Would you? Uh, I did. DJ's got the change. I say that's a trick shot with half a mark. I agree. It's harder to do that than it is to just make it. <laughs> oh! Great recovery from Thomas and the messenger there. Some of these messengers here at Texas are pretty wicked. Crack scoreboard operator DJ. Now wait a second. Oh, he gave the wrong guy that open. <laughs> I got you. Hi, Garrett. Good shot from Thompson there, just a ram 10. Ball change for us. There we go. Good ball change for us. One thing these ASU guys really learn well is it's knowledge of their equipment. And they know when it's time to make ball changes. Of course, when you're trailing by 20 and don't have a good look, it's pretty obvious that something's got to happen. Thompson grabs a spare ball, it's not going to hook either. He's going to flatten it out just like Cole and hopefully make it. Big shot for Ovia here to not fall too far behind. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Second half should be really good. Be sure to watch it.